They are of different ages and backgrounds, but they are all passionate about visual arts. They are here in honor of Peter Ray. He was an art collector, dealer, and promoter. He collected artworks, promoted young Nigerian artists, most Nigerian artists that were able to exhibit outside the country, some books that were published on art that are being used in most of our schools today. We are products of Peter Rare's contribution to the arts uh, industry in Nigeria. And with what he did so far, it is very, very apt to have this lecture in his honor. Peter Ray died in 2009. This University of Nigeria trained accountant left an enduring legacy. To this end, the art community has immortalized him with an annual lecture at the seventh edition. Professor Jerry Buhari of Amadou Bello University prepared to speak on building a national art collection in Nigeria. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it to any good. Dr. Kinsley Energy presented his paper. We inspire to national pride of our common rich heritage, good integration, hope, and unity. I have also raised issues about weakness of successive governments in showing sincerity and goodwill to drive culture as a vehicle for national development beyond flowery words. I have stressed the importance of synergy between the private and public institutions. Other stakeholders made strong points during the discourse. In the cultural sector, there is this overlap of uh, duties. We understand that, like CBAC and all that, we all almost do the same thing. But one thing stands out with the museum. The museum, we keep the artifacts, the antiquities. They are priceless uh, culture of the people. We don't, uh, you know, dabble into contemporary arts and all that. What you see is that in the museum is a big complex. We have uh, uh, exhibition halls and all that where artists, contemporary artists, can come and exhibit. We have problem of manpower training and retraining. We have the problem of building infrastructures. These are intellectual discourses that will generate and act as catalyst to the betterment and the restructuring and repositioning of the visual art sector. And it's a good one and it's a good step. There was question and answer session. This seventh edition of Peter Ray Annual Lecture Series was convened by Dr. Chris there was a time they traveled to Australia, uh, Australia through Peter Ray's uh, facilitation to have an Uli workshop. So somebody who has done such for the art industry should not just be forgotten. Peter Ray was murdered at the age of 37. His contributions to the growth and development of visual arts in Nigeria cannot be underestimated. Considering the various agencies, cultural prostatals we have in the country, if they can as well key in into this program by sponsoring or supporting this lecture series, you will discover that some books or journals that will be used in schools can emanate from such gesture. Though dead, Peter lives on in the hearts he touched positively. Peter Ray's annual lecture series 2017 was part of activities in the Wicklang Life in My City Art Festival.